It's time for baseball now as the yeah. show's tour of the... Number 55, a Massachusetts-born right-hander will get the start in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. And just passed his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. So digging in now, Brennan Davis, runner at first to start the inning. Exactly. And Dan, when it comes to the pitching in the rain, oh, what man. changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. That's it's hard ball. to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Oh, had a hanger that time, but missed it. One and two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. I go, I go. Knowles two, will settle two, two, two. under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now in the box, Alfonso Rivas. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. That's a strike to throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always two, great two, if you can two, score two. first early in the game. And there's the second out as he squeezes it in the coach's box. First pitch That's on its way. The second base. Count one and oh. Brent Gibroni. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three and the inning is over. Digging in the switch hitter Jim Weathers has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0-2 oh now. Here we go. Plays at one now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. No score here as we play inning number two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Good heater to strike him out there, and he looks absolutely locked in to start this inning. That's back-to-back punch-outs on only six pitches. No balls and a strike to count. The windup and the 0-1 behind 0-2 now. Two out, nobody on. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Stepping up now, Eric Castillo. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, last pitch was 94. Then you pull the string 13 miles an hour slower right there. 81 miles an hour. You get guys in a rocking chair when you can add and subtract like that. And he had him set up perfectly there as he's not even close to touching that pitch. And on four pitches, he becomes out number one. Batting nine. First the pitch of the at-bat. Now a big All fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off-speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. One down, one down. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Digging in, Donnie Deweese. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0. Ball up there. Third inning, no score to this point. Got his 2 0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2 and 1. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Nope. Good take there. there to lay off the high fastball. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Hey, we got two. The 3 2 pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The 3 2 one more time. One, one, one. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. And the throw hey. pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. To the plate now, Brennan Davis. Now Swing and a liner. Here. Foul. Right Flied out Ooh, in his good. first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Well yeah, outside with right. the curveball for a ball. Deweese, the runner at first with two Aye. gone. Fastball called strike, one and two. Pops this one up. Number 74 has a play, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left. Hey, let's go right here. Stepping in, Alfonso Rivas. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven about Ks and we're just the in the middle game. innings of this one. Right. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. 0-1 oh oh the count. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the oh video two. room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Skied into very shallow right. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Standing in, Jim Weathers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. He's right there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH. Corbin Joseph comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in to try it again, Eric Castillo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. and oh. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and one. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Eat it, eat it. No runner, no runner. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. 
I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Zach Short is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out. So he's and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that. New inning set to get underway. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Donnie Deweese. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Strike one to start the at bat. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Into the box now. Brennan Davis. It was now a fly out for him in his last trip. And he gets ahead 0-1. Hey, I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. No ball, two strikes. Ball, Tried good. to throw the fastball by him, but it's high. One and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. At the plate, Alfonso Rivas. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ball. Plays off 1 and 0. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Trent Jimbroni. And guys, seventh oh, inning already. Piece. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. One and oh, the count. The pitch. One and one, the count now. Now here's the pitch. Fouled off. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there and advantage counts the like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. No balls and a strike to count. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers, pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pick. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Pretty painless half of the Your inning. Luis Pena has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 31, Luis. Wow, that's a rarity. A 1-0 game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one the of them had to lose this game.